at Rudiger Frank, professor of East Asian Economy and Society at the University of Vienna. Thanks for joining us. So they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Do you think there will be much difference between Kim Jong-il and his son? Well, this is very hard to say. I mean, we are talking about North Korea. So you never really know for sure what's going to happen. I'm not even still not even sure whether it's going to be a third great leader. Um, in any case, it's very unlikely that he will be announced as such during this upcoming uh, delegates meeting of the party because he is so far rather unknown to the people. So what we can expect is that he will be, if it happens at all, elevated to some kind of post within the Central Committee. Uh, then he can develop a kind of a record of his own and then we will also know more about his personality and then probably in 2012 during a party congress the last one was in 1980 so it's really time to hold one he might be announced as a next leader so inter-korean inter relations have become worse since the south korean leader lee myung byak took office do you think a new leadership in the north whether it happens in this upcoming conference or later on in 2012 do you think a change in leadership with the north could mend those relations um i don't really think so because if you look at the situation at the interest constellation uh, on the Korean Peninsula uh, and at the North Korean position, I don't really think it's going to change very much. The regime there has the big task of regime survival. That's not very easily done. I think much more can be expected from a change of power, say, in Washington or in Seoul. Uh, what happens in Pyongyang certainly has an influence, but I don't think it will be that significant. So it was the sinking of a South Korean warship that nearly brought the two sides to the brink most recently. Now, although an international investigation blamed the North, some media reports suggest that Russian experts found otherwise. Do you think there will be a clear answer in what happened there? Um, it, it should be hoped that there is a clear answer. At the end of the day, uh, there is one South Korean ship on the ground of the sea. Well, it has been lifted. 46 dead people. Uh, that's not a minor event. So somehow this really has to be clarified. And uh, if it has been the North Koreans, which, as you said, is not entirely clear or at least not accepted by everybody, um, then they would even be ready to admit. Look at the year 2002, when they, after many years, admitted uh, at having abducted Japanese citizens and they actually sent five of them back but um, realistically speaking I don't think that in the near future any solution in this case is to be expected now, North Korea's nuclear test last year sparked debate that it could trigger an arms race in East Asia with countries like Japan Taiwan South Korea possibly going nuclear how possible do you think that is this is actually the biggest worry of the international community. If you talk to diplomats and security experts around the world, um, this is what they really uh, name as the biggest threat emanating from this whole uh, Korean Peninsula issue, especially for countries that are no neighbors, uh, so they don't have any direct interest on the peninsula as such. Um, Japan has already made it very clear that it has the capability of developing nuclear weapons. Um, we do have a campaign of rearming Japan, mostly pointing at North Korea as the major reason, although some experts actually assume that it's rather China, probably, that Japan is trying to hedge against. And Taiwan, well, um, at the moment, situation with the PRC is looking very good. Depending on what happens to the uh, Taiwanese government, how the relations develop there, it's certainly also an option. And this is not just the end. Uh, many countries, mid-sized countries, smaller countries, are watching what's happening in North Korea, how the international community reacts to its nuclear ambitions, um, Middle East, Africa, etc. So that's really a big danger that we are going to see uh, a nuclear arms race around the world. All right. Thanks for your perspective. Rudiger Frank, professor of East Asian Economy and Society at the Pleasure. University of Vienna.